Boston, Massachusetts. Let's take an old-fashioned walk. We're just bursting with talk. The center of this historical city is the Boston Common, a small park where for almost 200 years, people have gathered for all sorts of reasons. What a tale could be told if we went for it. For example, the Boston Tea Party, young America's first protest against oppression. It could have been on this very spot that a group of outraged citizens met to plot the overthrow of tyranny and do their thing. So I say to you, <laughs> oppression by the king is despotism. <laughs> Taxation without representation is to lie and say. And running around in these Indian costume is embarrassing. <laughs> now where's that Ebenezer Fink? What in Sam Hill is the idea of getting me out of bed at midnight dressed like an Indian? You call that being dressed like an Indian? You forgot your beads. Yeah, but I dressed in such a hurry that I nearly forgot my teeth, too. <laughs> now tell me, why, why do you get it dressed up like this? We're dressed like Indians, so nobody will recognize us. Well, if you don't want to be recognized, you better put a teepee over that big nose of yours. <laughs> and now, 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 what does Sam Hill is all this about? It's a protest meeting, think. <laughs> Count me out. But we're going to do away with taxes. Count me in. <laughs> What's that fella doing, that grumbling in there? He's a real Indian. Well, if he don't like what is going on in this country, why didn't he go back where he come from? <laughs> That's what I say. OK, now here's the plan. Fink. Will you stop calling me Fink? But that's your real name, Ezeniza Fink. Well, don't call me that. Call me what my wife calls me. On second thought, you better call me Fink. <laughs> OK, boys, I got two plans. Plan one is get on that boat with the tea bags, cut a hole in it, and sink it. Well, that's the dumbest plan I ever heard. Because when that boat sinks, we'll be on it. That's why I got plan number two. We stop by dumping five tons of tea overboard. Then we sink a sugar barge. And then we toss in a slice of lemon. Well, will that help us get rid of the taxes? No, but we'll have the most refreshing harbor in New England. Come on, think. Boston Common bear the names of many great lovers who have strolled this way. Like this one, for instance. John Cabot loves Mary Lodge. And here's Mary Lodge loves Bruce Cabot. <laughs> and over here we have one that's been here quite a long time. Betsy Ross loves Jack Benny. <laughs> Not all of these loves were happy ones. <laughs> Tropical nights, orchids in bloom, sultry perfume, intrigues and dangers with passionate strangers. <laughs> Across the board. It was a magical night with romance everywhere. There was something in the air. There always is in Boston. We walked to the common. That's a pretty park there. And as I remember, it was pretty dark. In this exotic locale, by a silver lagoon, underneath the Pudu moon, we fell asleep.
and I was drunk with love and cheap muscatel. <laughs> Exotic Boston. Boston, try out town for Broadway musicals. Many a night, composers would come to Boston Commons looking for the inspiration that would make their show a hit. Oh, Sam. Sam, what are we gonna do? Tomorrow night's opening night and we don't have a finale. We need a song that people will come out whistling. Yeah, you're right. The show's gonna be a failure. We gotta have a better closing song than you never get the blues when your business is shoes. <laughs> right. That's awful. Mm. How about something romantic? You know, the, the shoe salesman looks up at the girl and says, I've grown accustomed to your laces. <laughs> Sam, it has a kind of a ring to it, but I think we need something more rousing. I mean, something about the shoe business itself. Like, um, there's new business in shoe business. <laughs> there's new business in shoe business? Right, right, but why does it have to be the shoe business? Why can't it? I know, you're right, it could you be know. the shoe business. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Listen, I got an... Oh, if I only had a piano. I tell you... Oh, here! Where? Here! Oh, here! Oh. No, no business like show business. Like no business I know. Everything about it is appealing. Everything that's traffic will love. Nowhere can you get that extra feeling when you are stealing that extra buzz. There's no the right show. People, they smile when they are alone. Yesterday they told you you would not go far. That night you open and there you are. <laughs> and you're pressing your neck on the star. Let's go on with the show. What do you think? It'll never make it. <laughs>